Hi, I'm Teresa Franks, CEO of Fine Art Registry, and we're here today in Scottsdale, Arizona to visit with Bonnie Adams Freeman, curator of the Kenneth M. Freeman Legacy Collection. And we're going to talk a little bit to Bonnie about the collection, what she does as a curator, and we're going to learn some really exciting things. So I'm really happy to be here. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, How are Teresa. you? Good, thank you. It's got to be really exciting for you, and what an honor to be at the booth. Tell us about the Booth Museum. The, the Booth Western wow. Art Museum is a really great place for Ken to uh, be for his very first legacy collection exhibition. The Booth is a very modern, new museum. I mean, it's, it's been there a long time, but they've renovated, they've added thousands more square feet and they house the largest Western art collection in the United States. This will be the premier exhibition of the Kenneth M. Freeman Legacy and the exhibition is called Artist at Work because it's a collection of work that is showing an artist from the beginning to the end and, and it shows how Ken made a living as an artist. So uh, the, at the Booth Museum, um, I'm just coming back to that, you've got all these pieces there. How do you go about, you contact the Fine Art Registry for a variety of reasons to start cataloging and uh, making a permanent record mm -hmm. of his body of work, which is fi what Fine Art Registry does. We're a permanent registry for fine art and valuables. Um, you know, we have a permanent patented tagging technology. You're going to be able to catalog all these works. But w and we're going to, you're going to be doing this for the exhibition at yes. the booth. So that if any of these pieces go missing, which we don't think that would ever <laughs> happen at uh, uh, the Booth Museum, but things have happened like that in the past. So, so you're going to be tagging, um, and we call it a tag, it looks mm -hmm. like a, um, a, 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 some people call it a label, some people call it a sticker, but there's, it's much, there's much more, we call it a tag because there's technology built into that. Right. That's uh, very important for the piece should someone remove the tag. We could get into all that in later videos if we want to talk mm -hmm. about it. But you're, the most important thing is to permanently register his body of work. Now, at the Booth Museum, you mentioned your catalog, which right. we have here. It's a beautiful piece. I just love, I'm a, I, I love cobalt blue. But when I saw this, I instantly, you know, I first I turned around and I, is that from the same It's from the same painting. painting. These are the brush strokes from Impending Decision. And this is the catalog and you'll notice in here, I'll just kind of thumb through this mm -hmm. really quickly, but uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. And uh, it's got all the, the work in here that's yeah. going to be at the, at the show. It just shows you just uh, what his range is. I think here it is coming Was. up. There it is. So that's that's impending decision. That's the final piece in wow. the book. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now, who is this on the last page? Right here. Mm -hmm. That would be Kenneth Freeman. <laughs> that was Ken when he was uh, 21. Handsome guy, wasn't he? Yes, he was. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this catalog uh, can be yours if it's on the website too, on yes. your website, which yes. is www.kennethmfreeman.com. So these can be purchased yes. on your yep. website. Mm -hmm. Terrific. Yep, that'll be up in our store. And you know, I thought this this I'm going to bring this mm -hmm. catalog up really briefly. This is the Milan show from right. the Milan show. Right. This is from the Milan and show. And this wonderful this painting's is, got quite a, a story painting. to it too. Um, mm -hmm. You were showing us a little bit about this. So just tell us a little bit about this painting on the cover. This is called the handoff, and the paint the uh, there's a print of the handoff in the Library of Congress in the wow. Legacy Collection. It was one of Ken did three posters for the hash knife um, Pony Express. Wow. So this one was sold as uh, prints and posters in the United States Postal Offices as well. My and goodness. this was the lead image for this particular exhibition in Milan. What a career he had. Man, oh man. It just never it, ends. No, and the whole time he's doing fine art, he's also still making a living in reproductions. And he's always made 
his paintings work for him. And yes, he sold originals, which is why I'm really hoping, after we get everything organized in the, in the fine art registry, that more of the owners of these originals out there will come forward and register them in fine art registry so that I can then see the expanded Right, and I think a lot of, a lot of uh, people out there that do hold original works Mm -hmm. by Ken Freeman are going to want to get in touch with you and want to have these pieces registered right. because it does a lot for them. Um, as, a, as a buyer, of, I think you're going to be selling graphic works. Mm -hmm. You'll probably be making new editions of some of the paintings, yes, some of yes. Ken's paintings. Mm -hmm. um, buyers are going to love the fact that they're going to be able to sign on to Fine Art Registry for free and uh, transfer ownership of these pieces which really mm -hmm. tracks the provenance that's so important to a piece of artwork. Um, and we can also issue a certificate of authenticity correct. with it, right? Even right. with the multiples. Okay. Yeah, we call it the multiple certificate of disclosure, although okay. we don't rely on certificates of authenticity mm -hmm. or, or disclosure certificates for multiples because we believe a permanent identifier should be put on the piece itself and that okay. number then follows it is printed on the certificate mm -hmm. of, of authenticity for the buyer. It just adds to the provenance, and people are so used to certificates of authenticity. We don't rely on them. We rely first on the registered details of the work. And in fact, right. our whole system is based on the Getty's object ID that was developed back in 1996 by a woman named Eleanor Fink that was with oh. the Getty Information Institute. And um, 18, uh, 18 countries around the world met. And they came up with this core standard for the identification of cultural objects, you know, antiques, antiquities, paintings, you know, because things were going missing from museums yes, and nobody yes, knew yes. where they went. Um, and roughly, you'll, you might find this surprising, roughly 60% of what was lost in the World Trade Towers in 9-11 was never inventoried oh or made goodness. a record of. So can you imagine the insurance claims that came in yes. for those pieces yes. that weren't documented? How do you pay? Well, you, uh, insurance companies probably had to pay out a lot on things that you know, were never inventoried or recorded. Mm -hmm. So let's just say two or three paintings went missing um, from a show mm -hmm. um, one day mm -hmm. that you had registered. You would go on to Fine Art Registry and you would instantly change the record to stolen status. Right. But the details down, of course, you'd be contacting police. Um, you know, if, if things, if it was a huge theft, and these pieces, now that Ken is no longer with us, you know, mm, the value is, the value okay. is a, quite a bit different than when he was living because he was producing then, and he's mm -hmm. no longer producing now. So these are all things that are really important to keep in mind. That's how Fine Art Registry is going to be able to help you. We're going to be able to help you get a handle on this and really yeah. feel like you've got control because what did I tell you not too long ago when we met? When something is, you send something out. You have no you control. You have no control. You really don't, no. So, you know, and, and uh, you can only, you, you do as much as you can to protect the body of work, and that's what you're doing, mm -hmm. which I think is just wonderful. And I'm really excited about working with you because I just, his artwork and your artwork is just fantastic. So, and I'm even wearing a piece of your artwork today. Okay. So, it and it's just, you. it's gorgeous, a couple of pieces. Um, so you've just got, um, there's just talent all around this house. And I was fortunate enough, you were so gracious mm -hmm. to show me a studio, which I thought was, it was just it's really a magic special. Room. Just a magic room. A magic room, <laughs> I love that. Um, we'll, t we'll see some of that in future video. We've got a lot of work to do now, don't yeah. we? We better get to work, <laughs> huh? I think so. <laughs>